Welcome back, my crystalliers, to some more 10, 1080 degrees avalanche. Oh, I already did that, actually. We're gonna do some more tournaments. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the horror challenge. Actually, I think uh, the first video I posted was the horror challenge. But, you know, I'm trying to do it. Yes, you know me. You've, I've been here for years. Alright, let's play as my, uh, my main man, Ricky Winterborn. I'm gonna go with the uh, alternate costume. And the good old 8 bit soul. I love that board. I love it. I really, I really recommend you watching uh, the first episode of this. Because, um, I don't know, I, I really liked how that one turned out. I, I talked about, like, not to sound <clears throat> kind of weird and, like, you know, complimenting myself, but I felt like the, the stuff I talked about on there was actually pretty cool. Like, I don't know, <laughs> it went well. So yeah, let's do let's do this hard challenge. Easy life, powder threats. Come on, Vasquez. His name's kind of cool. Huh. 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 All right, let's get behind this motor guy, motorist. I think that guy has rubber band AI. I'm talking about the motor, the motor guy, because uh, he's just like a set piece, and he's supposed to get there before you to open the garage door. Aha. So you know, no complaints there. He's not actually racing you, so. Uh, actually, yeah, Riverbend AI, I don't know, I don't remember having problems with that kind of thing in this particular game. Like, if you're doing super good, they just kind of come out of nowhere. But they are pretty unfair <laughs> in the expert challenges. No! I need to grind to make my... <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay. Going downstairs like that is super bad. Your only hope is to hit the, uh... Ooh, let's hit the left side over here. See what happens. Oh, I just killed the pedestrian. It's fine. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> there it is. All right. What was I even saying? I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about when I'm recording these. I just say things really quick, <clears throat> and right after I finish recording, I don't really remember what I even talked about. I just like post it up and be like, "Yeah, I probably did fine." <laughs> That's friendly fire. I don't really like friendly fire. Pretty neat. Slurp, slurp. Weird names, man. Pear spawn. I love spawning pears. Let's pretend that I want that one. I think Seether uh, has a few songs in this game, one or two. I'm not really that big a fan of Seether or anything, but I always loved the couple songs that were in this game, especially the end credit song. I heard the end credit song so many times, how could I not be a fan of that song, you know? And then I started looking into like their albums because, uh, oh yeah, I remember. I, w I literally went to like the uh, my public school's like library, and I was looking for Seether. And I was looking for the album that had the track on it from this game. And I saw the album cover, I'm like, oh gosh, this is scary. <laughs> like, the album cover was creepy. It was like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, actually. But, uh, maybe I'll have a link in the description, just to see, just to show you guys. I'll find, I'll find the one I saw in the library. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though, because, like, I was pretty young. So, at the time, I was just like, oh, this is creepy, this is scary stuff. Oh, the, the art at this, whoa. I don't know that much about their music. Um, I kind of just stuck to listening to a couple songs that were playing in the game. I don't know too much about the grinding in this game, actually. I never explored buttons and stuff for grinding. All I've ever done was land on there and start spinning. I don't know if they have, like, special grinding grabs or, or you know, positions or something. Kind of like in Skate, where uh, you use the right stick to position your board and get out. That's another franchise I super loved. I've always been a pretty big fan of, um, like, extreme sports video games. Uh, I always love the Tony... Well, first of all, the Tony Hawk Pro Skaters on the N64s. Um, I had a few of those. <clears throat> I think I played a couple on the GameCube. I don't remember their names, though. But I definitely played Underground 1 and 2. I think I owned Underground for a while. Uh, but... Like I've said in previous games, when I talk about my like previous uh, gaming collection, there's a there's a the only way I could get money for my own gaming to get my own new games and stuff back then uh, was to sell the games I already had to GameStop and then use that money to buy the, the other game. So I would sell like a bunch of games at a time, and I I still to this day keep regretting that kind of thing. But, I mean, yeah, you can't really do anything about it. I've been steadily re regaining my collection. So I have, like, a lot of, uh, whoa, okay. I have a lot of, whoa! I'm sorry, what? That's just straight up a hole in the mountain. That does not happen. <laughs> but, you know what? Maybe that was some really good dynamite. Oh, gosh! 
forgot what her name is. I was gonna say, uh, that lady is chasing me. I forgot her name though. I wonder if the C on the map means anything. Like, her name starts with C. Aha! Uh -huh. I also like the balance uh, mechanic. <clears throat> Yo! Let's try to cut through over here. Nope, I guess not. I was trying to cut through the hard. I was trying to take a hard right there. Uh, yeah. Yo, that, that area out there at the end where it's like a lake with cabins on it and stuff, it's all frozen. That looks really cool. Looks super cool. Don't stop now. Huh, nice. Trestle Trouble. Ooh, Trestle Trouble is awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, what's this guy's name again? Rob or something? Let's do it. Let's get it. Huh? Ooh, rocket. I love Rocket. Makes me feel like I'm literally piercing through the air, gaining up speed. Ha! <laughs> so yeah, I also had a lot of uh, history with the skate games. I played the first one, second one, and the third one. Uh, my favorite was the second one. I played the heck out of uh, the the, uh, the first one though, and uh, I got it on the PS3. It's probably one of the very first PS3. Oh gosh, that's oh! Ah! Ow! Whoa! Okay, what the? <laughs> what even happened? Did I land on my feet weirdly? The whole like camera spun around. I've never seen that in this game. That was super awesome and weird. I'm glad that got recorded. <laughs> so yeah, what was I saying? Right, right, right. Uh, Skate one. Played the heck out of that on a PS3. <clears throat> I was always a fan of like extreme extreme sport video games. Um, at, at least when it comes to like jet set radio, snowboarding, and skateboarding. Um, that's basically it. I always loved the NBA Street games too. Actually, I also played a little bit of NFL Street. And I uh, didn't really get into soccer street games. I just played FIFA with my brother, like the real ones, the realistic ones. Um, I did love Mario Super Strikers Charger, or whatever that's called. What, what, what? Lion squirrels on them. Uh, yeah, what's it called? Mario Super Chargers? Super Strikers? Something like that. I don't remember. But I love that one. That one's kind of epic. I love the super moves in that game. And uh, I remember in, um, in Skate 1, it was really funny, but. My dad actually never cares about video games or plays video games, but there's this part in uh, Skate 1 where I was trying to land a really specific, um, difficult to land technical trick for like one of the missions, and I would keep trying and trying and trying, and my dad would sometimes be watching, <clears throat> and then um, even though he literally doesn't care about games in general, he, um, I don't know what happened, what I said or did to like intrigue him or anything, oh, well that's the wrong way. Um, but he started trying to do it himself. So basically what I did was I taught him the controls and then he kind of just started trying it himself. And uh, yeah, that's a really, really weird situation. And uh, that kind of never happened again other than this other video game called uh, Donkey Konga. Yeah, Donkey Konga. And it's literally like a, a guitar hero but with bongos. And... Huh, Oh, I was kind of. I wish I kind of could have the wall ride as a as a trick to do. I always love that trick in skate games. Wall ride. Anyways, uh, yeah, my brother was. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> I'm alive. Um, not my brother. My dad was literally playing uh, Donkey Konga like hardcore, like a lot, so much that I never got. Like I would go like a whole day or so, and. He would spend all his free time playing it, and I would be all angry because <laughs> I wouldn't get be able to play it. Oh gosh! Yeah. And uh, speaking of Donkey Kong, I actually don't own that anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure we just blockbuster that one. We just rented that one from Blockbuster. Whoa! Whoa! This is death. I'm glad I had my power meter on. I'm doing really bad right now. I'm not really focusing. Yo, that's some that's some Prattle Rock. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, my dad would, like, play Konga all day, a couple days in a row, and I would get, I would get angry because I'd be like, oh no, the renting time is almost up, I can't play this game until my dad stops playing, and there's only, like, two more days until the rent's, like, up or whatever, and, uh, Yo, that, that, that was sick. Whoa, yo, whoa. Oh god. I hope I don't die. Let's hope I don't die. Okay, cool. I'm alive. 
And, uh, recently, on my last visit to California, because my brother lives over there, I bought myself, um, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat in box with the Congos and the game. It's in pretty decent condition. The box is pretty jacked up, but the game and the Congos themselves were pretty good. For, like, a decent price. I don't remember what it was, but I think just, like, $20? I think just straight $20. I don't know how much it is in, like, other places or anything, but it was, like, a, it was a cool, like, retro game store somewhere. But, yeah, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.